right, exercise scientist is wrong about deadlifts. This is my reply. What is going on? Brian Carroll here at PowerRackStrength.com HQ. If you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, share, share this video, turn on notifications, and comment your thoughts and your opinions below. Am I off the mark? Am I on? Give me your opinion below. Also, my blog is PowerRackStrength.com. You can go there to book an appointment. You can go there and see what I'm about, who I've worked with, some of my testimonials, the different services that I offer in both a virtual and in-person capacity. I'm here at 1302 Eastport Road in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm less than 10 minutes from Jacksonville International Airport, and I work with people all over the world from both a virtual and in-person standpoint. I have people that fly in from all over the country, all over the world to come here for an assessment, for lifting, critiquing, and coaching for exercise and performance enhancement, for injury resilience. So go check out PowerRackStrength.com for more information about me, Brian Carroll, and thank you for tuning in. But you have a narrow operating window in which you can potentially hurt yourself. To really scaffold on takes a week. If you deadlift it in another three or four days, that allows those micro fractures to accumulate until finally you've got a full-blown end plate fracture. If that's the case, we eliminate deadlifts. Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Grant Bridges from Strength Up. It's interesting because that was um, a lot of meaty science to open the video there about end plates and adaptation, and you end up getting micro trauma, which can turn into macro trauma. It's funny that he would um, set himself up to dive bomb right on his face uh, so easily after some good science. And what we've done hundreds of times with, with now thousands of athletes all over the world rebuilding them back and it's by bone scaffolding that we talk about in gift of injury but i digress but today i want to cover are the benefits of squats in deadlift worth the risk of injury if you like the video like and subscribe to the channel i have been actively posting all of my workouts and one of the main things that i get or an area of concern is i post a deadlift relatively heavy maybe in the 400s or a squat totally super heavy deadlift in the 400s I mean, it's it's heavy. What's heavy? Heavy is relative, and that's gonna be the theme of this video. Heavy to you is different than heavy to me, and heavy for my wife, and heavy for the grandma that might come that just wants to be able to pick up her kids again, or the 15-year-old that has blown himself apart following a traditional cookie-cutter training split from high school volunteer training coaches that have them squat, bench, and deadlift three times a week, in particular, deadlifting and squatting three times a week, quote-unquote, because they're weak and they need to do it. That's some of the biggest bullshit that I've ever seen in my life. In the 400s is people will say to me, the risk isn't worth the reward. Or they say it's not worth the risk of injury to be that strong. It's well, what is injury? What type of injury are we talking about? Now, I've torn my bicep off deadlifting. I agree that that wouldn't be a reason for me to stop deadlifting. But the context here, and bless your sweetheart, the context here is a about deadlifting and the back injured person. Not about your opinions on the deadlift or a, a 400 pound heavy deadlift or whatever it is you think is heavy. Um, this is about back pain and deadlifting as a juice worth the squeeze. Looking for the answer to your sleepless nights, sore muscles, and better overall well being? If so, Power X Strength CBD has you covered. All of our products are made of CBD isolate and have 0% THC, meaning there are no worries of failing a drug test or the worry of feeling high. With Power Rack Strength CBD, we offer a wide range of products and payment options to ensure you have the option that best fits your needs. Don't just take it from me. All of our reviews and client testimonials on our site speak for themselves. You can even get 20% off your order by using code YT1306 at checkout. Go to PowerRackStrengthCBD.com to order now so you can get back to sleeping, recovering, lifting, feeling, and being better. I don't understand 
how that was missed. Next time you want to go after the world's leading spine biomechanist, mechanist as they say in Canada, and put your YouTube mustache next to his resume, do yourself a favor. Listen to the entire podcast. You like Peter Atia so much, listen to the entire podcast instead of, in your words, getting clips sent to you that are clipped that are provocative, but they have no context. So understand what you're talking about when we're talking about spine biomechanics. It isn't just a matter of lifting and feeling good or not feeling good because you might learn something. I can tell you the truth. Stu can tell you the truth, but I can't understand it for you. Quote, you're not going to snap your spine in half. Sure. You're not going to snap your spine in half. Great starting point. But let me ask, is the spine injured already? Are the end plates fractured? Do you know what an end plate is? An end plate is what connects the intervertebral disc to the vertebra. It's a bit of cartilage there held together by Sharpie's fibers. And I don't want you to have your brain explode, but a little bit of anatomy will help. And then we have the posterior aspect of the spine, not just a spinal column. We have many different components that make up a spinal segment. We have two facet joints, we have an intervertebral disc, we have a vertebral body here, then we have what's called um, the spinal cord, and then you have the peripheral, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, and these are nerve roots, in particular L4, L5. These nerve roots that run off, they innervate all the tissue in your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, all the way down to your toes, and you damage these delicate little tissues here, you can have serious life altering problems. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So is the spine inflamed? Do you just have some inflammation or your muscles tight? Are the end plates fractured? Are the nerve roots compressed? You might have a compressed nerve root on an exiting root here as your spine is thickened up and you have some stenosis as you see this nerve root that comes out. We get a little bit of a disc bulge there and all of a sudden you don't have the room there to compress your spine with deadlifts and squats. Are the nerve roots compressed? Because most people don't just break in half. They break in silence. Little by little, a few reps at a time, a break in form, until they can't even bend over without pain. Microtrauma adds up. PRs aren't just innocent. Microfractures are real. I've seen them on imaging, and if you do a Google search, you can see compromised end plate fractures, vertebral body fractures on imaging. They can happen from a single deadlift session, even with good form. That's what goes over people's heads. If the lifter exceeds what their tissues can tolerate, depending on, again, we gotta get specific in the context, multiply that over months, crossing the tipping point, going beyond what you have capacity wise to be able to stay together and not explode, not break, add in poor movement, recovery and ego lifting, maybe doing the wrong exercises at the wrong time, having a bad online coach doesn't understand biology and adaptation and biomechanics, those micro traumas can turn into a macro bone fracture or macro failure. This is a response to Coach Brandt um, or whoever made a video criticizing Dr. Stuart McGill and deadlifts, taking them out of context. And apparently he's just going against all common sense. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, like, subscribe, share, click the notifications because we drop videos twice a week. We also have a live stream every Friday where I answer your questions. Click below to see the latest video that we uploaded. Also for our products, our CBD, our books that correspond with these videos, it's down in the description. For more information about all things Brian Carroll and Power Rack Strength, go to PowerRackStrength.com. You can book a consult both virtually and in person with me. Enjoy your week and thank you so much.